بيت تايتل از هابينس فري از هابينس فري ايمانويل Many years ago, I heard a story that bogged my mind. <laughs> Now, what kind of story is that that can make me smile? It's a story of a man called Krikor and Tony. Krikor. was walking on a road and he saw a man called Tony looking all gloomy and sad and Krico asked him what is your problem and Krico said and Tony said rather Krico all i have in my entire life can fit into this piece of bag Then it looked sad again. Then Krikor looked at him very carefully and grabbed the bag and ran away. He took a sharp bend and stopped. Then he dropped the bag on the floor in the middle of the road and hid near the shrubs by the side of the road. Tony looked up and said, "Can you imagine all that I have has been taken away from me?" Then he walked down the road. Ah! He took a sharp bend. He saw the bag. He jumped up. He was happy. He was excited, and he felt like all the world is coming back to him. Then Krico in the bush said, "I'm glad I finally made Tony a happy man today." Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Have you ever been happy in your life? Or let me put it this way: What does happiness mean to you? A writer, an American writer called Ralph Matson, says, "Happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you. It can only come." from you this quote made me think as i went through several pages and i wondered what truly is happiness many people say happiness is a relative word is it true that happiness is a natural state for all human beings is it true that if you're not happy You are defective. Is it also true that to create a better life, we must get rid of negative feelings? Why is it that the United Nations, in 2013, decided to separate March 20 as the International Day of Happiness? Why is happiness so important? As I researched, I came across several definitions of happiness, but one caught my attention, and it was from a website called happinessinternational.org. And it defined happiness as when your life fulfills your needs. Happiness is when your life fulfills your needs. Hey, I said that's quite interesting. because our need in life is different and 
Should I choose happiness over satisfaction or choose happiness over money? Because it has become apparent that once people's income is guaranteed, making people appear is not easy. That is why you find people, when they make a certain amount of money, they want to make more to make themselves happy, but they don't ever achieve that happiness. And many of you know about Maslow's hierarchy of needs, where all human needs were put in a triangle. And we were made to understand that human needs start from a basic level up until the self-actualization. Recently, I stumbled across a report by the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network. It's a yearly report on all the World Happiness Reports. In this report, you find respondents rating their own lives based on various life factors. And let me shock you. Can you guess the country that topped the chart in 2020? It is not Canada. It is not India. It is not America. It is not Lebanon. It is not my country, Nigeria. Yes, it's a country called Finland. Look at the third term list. You will find Finland, Denmark, Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, Netherlands, Sweden, New Zealand, Austria, and Luxembourg. None of them are first world countries or they are the world powers. In fact, their GDPs are not the largest. Now, why are the Finnish people the appears in the world? That was the question that keeps bogging my mind every time I look at those reports. Because for three years, Finland always topped the list as the appears country. That is what somebody said. Somebody in the eastside.com did a research and he asked them, Heidi said, the state provides us a lot, but you still have the complete freedom. Honor said, it is not an outward happiness. Sina said, people just don't want to complain. Bezad said, Finnish people never lie. Sina said, I never I had a good family and good book to read. Juho said, it's mostly connected to alcohol. <laughs> that was funny. Timo said, I don't have big, we don't have big income differences in Finland. Greta said, we have equal opportunities from birth. And Francis said, we have a good educational system. Now, does it mean that happiness is tied to social security, good governance, and provision of social infrastructure? And I ask myself, what makes Finland different? Finland has a very good judicial system, and they have a very good safety network. They have a culture of trust. And for many, Finland is where basic needs are met, whether healthcare, education, or job. Now, if you look at the map of the World Happiness Report of 2019, you will see that the countries that are rank highest are one of the most developed countries. Look at North America, look at South America, look at Europe, Asia and Australia, you will find that the green countries and the countries that have the highest life satisfaction are some of the most developed, while some of the developing countries are in between the charts. And the World Global Happiness Study says that 64% of the world's population, which means the two thirds of the adult global population reports to being happy. Now, is happy so abstract that it's impossible to become happy? These are three simple steps that I think that if you follow, you will become one of the most happiest persons in the world. First of all, surround yourself with positive people. That is what Tokmata is giving to you. But make sure that the people you always interact with are very positive. Number two, identify and seek to destroy the negative. Don't let negativity overwhelm you. And to top it all, do good for others. If 
if you follow these three simple steps, I believe that very soon, the report will go from 64% to probably 91% that we have in Finland. Are you truly happy? Over to you, the Toastmaster. 